Hello guys and welcome to our next video about the Python internals. Today we are going to explore uh, the none type um, in uh, Python. It's a must uh, fundamental and uh, the simplest uh, object type in the Python source code as I know. And uh, But before that, uh, let's just step back and uh, uh, try to find the unique features of the none type. And after that, we are continuing to explore the source code and uh, try to uh, edit and add some useless features to the non type. So let's begin. So, say we have the integers, two integers, actually, it's, they are, have the same value. And if you check if uh, they have the same value, the, the equal of nodes, it will return true. And also there is a, a keyword is, which is kind of if uh, k equal to z and uh, if they have uh, the same memory address. So they, if they are pointing the, to the same memory address or not. Uh, let me clarify a bit. If we're going some kind of assign case on a big int uh, and a log int, a long int actually, then they have in fact the same values but they are not the same anymore uh, this is a internal python memory optimization we are going to talk uh, the, mem the memory uh, allocation uh, in a different video but here uh, i'm going to just to explore why is uh, the none is unique in terms of uh, the memory addresses and let us just explore, explore uh, the memory addresses here and Z. So if you see, uh, they have allocated uh, these two different integers, it is two uh, same integers in two different memory addresses. That's why K is not Z, but they have the same value. For small ints, uh, uh, I think there should be some kind of small int memory optimization here. And uh, due to this, the k and z is just pointing to the uh, same uh, small integer. And that's why they are the same here. Uh, k is z here. That's uh, actually uh, how the is keyword uh, works under the hood. But what, what's about the none type? So uh, the clear uh, source code documentation here is that in, in the none type, let's just read it. The none is a non-null undefined value. So this is a uh, not null. So if uh, you say that the, the null is the none, no. Uh, so the, the source code documentation says that the none is a non-null undefined value. There is and should be no way to create other object of this type. So there is exactly one, which is undestruct undestructible by the way. So what, what what does it mean? If you create k from none and z from none, k is z true key is none is true and z is none is also true because they all have the same uh, memory addresses as you see and even the none itself so uh, that's a that's the case actually so, so none is globally unique uh, it has globally unique and undestruct indestructible uh, the memory address. Even uh, it's uh, it's impossible to deallocate a non type itself. So this should never get called. So non deallocation, non dealloc func. This should never get called. But we also don't want to seg uh, segment. It's a segmentation fault. Uh, the error if we accidentally decrypt none out of existence. So five fatal error deallocating none. So this is undestructible. Uh, type in term of uh, the changing the, the memory addresses. Moreover, uh, the type none, type none itself is a none type. 
but there is no such uh, built-in, uh, I'll say, constant at the cold non type. If you want to create uh, an extra non type, you can use a type calls. So type none, and this should be return uh, the none itself. So k is none, yes, but we use the type call. So we call the non type type call. There's a, a such thing that called the type call. And if you uh, check uh, the memory address of this even uh, the type call so type none and let's just call it as you see that they are all the same that uh, was the documentation actually clearly states there is and should be no way to create other objects of this type so it's there, there's only one non type uh, it's a the whole process of the interpreter and uh, actually the running program and we find uh, that where we can abuse this so uh, in the next video i'm going to add some kind of uh, useless things that it will return uh, i would say the, the new memory addresses and after after a while after this uh, additions there's impossible to check if something is none. So this, this is my uh, the idea about the non-type. So what we can say about the non-type, uh, non-type is a wonderful um, blog post uh, from the realpython.com and they have uh, taken about that, uh, taken a look under the hood. So as we mentioned, this is a type non non-type and this none is uh, uh, come from the built-ins. If we remember, the built-ins uh, are in the Python built-in. Well, well, um, none. Let's just find where is the none. Yeah, that the built-in none is just returning the pi none, which uh, just returns the pi none struct here, and the pi none struct itself uh, has a pi none type, the pi none type, the name as a none type, and it has nothing, only none new, and we, we will explore it and uh, nothing fun on the non bool which is uh, the ensuring that when you call the bool none it should return the false and also if you call dunder bool it should also return the false uh, there's nothing fancy here that's it and let's just continue with our blog post so uh, you can you can't just choose built-ins none here as you see but what you can do is just print by getting attribute of the none oops um, can't copy it mm, great and it, yes, the same thing that you can type uh, none, uh, print the my none, and my none is none, it is always uh, true. Also, the, uh, the memory addresses will be the same. Uh, you cannot assign anything to the none type, uh, you cannot modify, and you cannot uh, subclass from the, uh, the none type. None type is not acceptable, the base type. This is a unique features of the none type. Uh, but also, uh, it's actually uh, the interview question. Uh, so, why, as you see, for example, why uh, the non type takes 16 bytes the memory? So, so th th basically, the non type is a null uh, from uh, so null for, from other languages such as low level Golang or C, C, and null address is just uh, zero. 
um, zero mem memory address so it, it not uh, it doesn't consume any memory but here it consumes get size of none none is a 16 bytes uh, so it's uh, it's not as uh, memory efficient but still it's none is none uh, so what we can do about this so there's a wonderful talk uh, which I will put the, uh, the uh, link for the uh, a slide so uh, by Vlad Sidorenko and it, uh, the, it states that uh, each the structure of the Python uh, object in the Python that each uh, as we mentioned before each, each Python object has reference count and the pointer to the type so this thing consumes 16 bytes. Object specific fields, the none type has no object specific fields. But list type uh, should have, the pylon type uh, should have, the integer types should have. That's why, that's why the integer type uh, consumes more, so 28 bytes overall. So uh, uh, this information is crucial in terms of that uh, uh, giving the default values to to the, uh, for example to our functions. Let's just uh, if you create some function with uh, k and y, and you want to just put the default values like this, just think twice uh, because it consumes more me memory. Uh, if you just do like this and then pass <coughs> integer to the function. Uh, it will just use less memory. So this is a basic idea, but we will see what's going on under the, uh, under the hood uh, wh when we explore the function objects. Uh, so that's it for uh, intro of the none type, the features of the none. Um, I think uh, it's enough. The next video we are going to edit the source code and uh, do some change to the none type itself. So thanks for watching, see you in the next video.